सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज द आई गेस सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ यूनिट टू ऑफ बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स वी आर बिट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यूनिट टू इन वेरी डिटेल फ्रॉम लास्ट फाइव वीडियोज एंड वी हैव कवर्ड द मेजर टॉपिक्स लाइक्स डेटा प्रेपरेशन क्लैनिंग और वी हैव डन समराइजेशन सॉर्ट एंड फिल्टर ऑप्शन कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग वी हैव डन विद डेटा वैलिडेशन देन वी हैव डन टेक्स टू कॉलम्स देन वी रिमूव द डुप्लीकेट्स एंड देन वी हैव डन ऑल्सो डन इन वेरी रिसेंट वीडियो को रिलेशन एंड को वेरियंस इन एक्सेल नाउ वील सी द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ मूविंग एवरेजेस इन एक्सेल so moving averages as we all know is the tool for analy- anal- analyzing uh, our data over the period of time like moving average is also known as rolling average running average or moving mean it means uh, a, a series of averages for different subsets of the same data like right so if we see right here we have months here and temperature of per month right here and the moving average how we have calculated this is uh, we have to see the average movement in the period of for example 3 months here we have taken 3 months so if we take the average out of these 3 months right here and as we move forward these months reduce get reduced to these 3 then these 3 then these 3 then average out to right here right so for this we'll use the syntax called average in the excel and just select the cell and drag it down till our data ends and we'll get the moving averages so this is this measure is frequently used in stats seasonally adjusted economic value weather forecasting right as i told you and uh, in stock market trading moving averages gives the average value of security over a given period of time right so over a period of time we have to see the movement or the fluctuations in the data we use the moving averages similarly in business moving averages for sales for last 3 months is calculated to understand the market trends to forecast the weather moving averages tell the 3 months temperature in is calculated right we can compute different types of moving averages be it simple averages exponential variable triangular weighted it can be any type of it okay so Uh, for the sake of this in section we'll see how do we calculate simple moving averages simple moving averages is calculated by using the formula and the trend line options okay so the simple moving averages can be calculated by using the average function as i told you earlier also given a list of average monthly temperature in column this moving average for first three month we calculated with the formula this or uh, sum divided by 3 it's the same thing average ka formula is sum divided by the number of observations so it gives us the moving averages right here so to visualize this moving averages we on a chart we draw the trend line okay so right like this if we draw the trend line for this value of course we can do in excel and select this and go to charts and we can get the trend line option for but for uh, seeing this we can have this variables here and it might go like this 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 is the trend line option we can we can see this is the uptrend or if it is like this you can see the downtrend if it is like this 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 moving here and here only we can say it is the consolidation option it means that the data is in selected range and it is consolidating to a specific data range only so to visualize this uh, moving averages we can use the chart option by drawing the trend line so steps are uh, click on layout tab analysis group select the trend line option and get the desired option simple okay so here is a trend line option the linear exponential linear forecast two period average anything okay so this is it and then in next topic it is finding the missing values so excel does not have any particular function to list out the missing values but it is important because of the following reason why we have to find the missing values number 1 for the data integrity right for data to be complete we need data full value so we need to find the missing values data reconciliation that facilitates the reconciliation process quality assurance to identify the anomalies 
anomalies and efficient analysis to perform the accurate data analysis by spotting and addressing the gaps. So how do we list the missing values in Excel? So to identify and list the missing values, we can use the following function if is number and match function, right? We, these three we can use to find the missing values. If returns to uh, if returns one value if the condition is true and another if it is false right is number check the value is a number and match searches for the value in range and returns its relative position right so we combine these function in this format in order to get if that is a missing value right so notice in the text for the match function is this lookup value lookup array and match type it is optional right lookup value is a value to be matched in the lookup array and lookup value means this one like this one is a lookup value in the lookup array and match type is optional i said it can have value this 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 default is one argument specifies how excel lookup value with values in lookup array now drag the apply formula it will result in a column b displaying the missing values in the list okay missing values can also be identified using the filter feature on the column to display only the missing number by excluding the blank cells okay this is the concept of missing values next is data summarization we have also done it but for more detail it is given it can be done in multiple ways like using descriptive stats sum averages count count a standard deviation variance minimum max option these all are data summarization i've already covered it you might refer to unit uh, two ka second video i guess for the uh, data summarization data visualization is the presentation as we use charts graphs for the data visualiz visualization it's simply like that helps to user to transform raw data into meaningful stories that enables them to spot the trends in data and communicate complex information effectively. So Excel provides different types of charts to visualize data in spreadsheet. So to draw, draw a chart, you just need to follow the uh, given steps. First is to organize data into rows and columns. Then every row and column should be labeled clearly to identify the data to be visualized. Next is to select the data by clicking and dragging mouse to the highlight the data to be visualized. In this section, include rows and columns as headers must be included so as to uh, give the legends or something like that. Next is to choose the chart type by clicking on the insert tab in the chart section and required chart or option. Any option you can select. Recommended chart is the best one. Uh, the uh, Excel recommends you based on, based on your data provided, right? So there are many options like column, line, line, pie, bar, area, scatter. Anything we can do that, right? So clicking on the drop down menu, we can select our chart type. Next is to insert the chart. Once the desired chart is selected and is automatically created and inserted, now you can uh, it can be clicked by dragging the change its position, resize it or size the handle. Even you can change this. This is volatile one because this changes as the data changes. If for example here seventy four point four three is mentioned and the cumulative interest here somewhere uh, it is mentioned then if it is changed to 75 the data chart will also change likewise right so customize the chart step 5 is to customize the chart for this click on the chart to select it and now you will be able to see two additional tabs called design and format right here design and format when you select the chart this is to customize the charts appearance style and layout important information like chart title labels legends etc can be added to enhance the visualization and interpretations as we all know chart title is right here Ch chart x is, is like this you want to hide it or we want to make it more visible in our way it's up to us legend is this thing we key uh, we say the key to the chart and uh, data labels it's up to us next is edit the data in chart as i told you if you change make changes the uh, chart will also change in case you wish to make changes in the data it's and simply edit the worksheet and excel will automatically update in the chart to reflect the changes i have done this also next is the types of data visualization excel offers a variety of charts to visualize the data some commonly used charts for visualizing are column chart as we all know these are the rectangular horizontal sorry vertical uh, bars are there it's called column chart 
then second is the bar chart horizontal bars are there right next is the line chart these are the line chart mainly used for uh, stock price movement or temperature or weather changes uh, to see the trends as i discussed uh, uptrend long downtrend consolidation and anything like that to show the trends or the changes in the value of the time okay so next is the pie chart is the slices of a circle right like this we make the pie chart right sorry right from here hello uh, it represents the portion of each category within the whole this is the pie chart scatter chart scatter chart we used for uh, determining what we determined scatter chart may we used to determine what i used it very times you should know and comment below so i know you are studying also <laughs> displays the data points on a cartesian coordinate system with each uh, axis representing a variable this chart depicts the relationship between two variables and identify patterns or correlation this this chart in excel help the user to understand the composition distribution and overlapping of data okay and effectively visualizing and formulate meaningful and engaging stories to decision makers okay so this is about today's video and in the very next video we'll discuss a very 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 important concept of pivot tables and pivot charts so please stay tuned and let me know uh, if you find this video helpful in the comment section like this video and share with your friends thank you so much